guys, Midi Giant Gaming or Connor here, and what you're seeing right now is actually a sneak peek of one of my recordings of this new game I got called Dirty Bomb. We're gonna be going in for some quick scopes, and I'm not actually playing right now. This is just a recording, which I said it was a sneak peek of me playing a Dirty Bomb match, which is actually coming soon to this channel. I know it's a pretty exciting thing, so. Welcome to my 40, no, sorry, 21, yeah, 21 things you probably didn't know about Minecraft, and if you did learn something in this video, give it a like, because it was worth your time if you did learn something, unless you're probably, like, not a Minecraft fan, so give it a like if you did learn something. I understand some of you don't have proper YouTube accounts, so you can only view videos, but that's fine. And if you didn't learn anything at all, give this video a thumbs down. But I bet you you'll learn things like the sand trick. Oh, I won't spoil too much, I'm sorry. I won't spoil it. So, yeah, so let's just chow down on me playing some Dirty Bomb now. So, I, f so I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you all in a sec. Number one, you can ride a pig around in a minecart. Yeah, the controls are backwards. So I'm hitting my forwards button, I'm going backwards. If I wanted to go forwards, yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah, go for a drive. You can activate a pressure plate if it has a solid block on it and has a non-entitied item underneath it. And a non-entitied item means a, I believe you can punch through it. Well, s some, are, some you can't, but they're still non-entity items. I don't know why. Ping. Spider jockeys on pi mm. baby zombies on chickens will not burn in the daylight. Can you stop following me? Hit you to death with a spider eye. They do do as much damage as a regular zombie, are much faster, I think twice as fast as far, they always sprint, and hard to kill. That took a while. You can chill down on spider eyes. Yummy. Ow. All right, so we're gonna go into game mode zero for this one by the way we are up to number four and oh let's just get away from some of these slimes but did you know milk reverses see i have stream fun it's got five minutes nine seconds milk reverses all potion effects good or bad levels are a great way to move sand whoops This could take a while. Oh my god, can this thing hurry up and get done? I walked over to here, crouching, and then started flying up. Let's go check it out. Look how much sand we've gotten. 
Sandy for Bubble Bath. Yeah. TNT in water will not affect other TNTs, but will still hurt you. Unlike some people believe, slime don't always w jump in a straight line. But 99% of the time they do. They will have to turn their body before they do, but they can jump like that. It is highly rare, but you'd have to be watching them all day to find out. Like slime, also, magma cubes only jump in a straight line. Stone pickaxes have 150 uses, iron 250, and diamonds 1527, non-enchanted. TNT will fall exactly 77 blocks before exploding. So make sure if you don't want any of your ground um, destroyed, make it at least 90 blocks high. Well, this tower certainly wasn't 77 blocks. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to go to school. Never portals uh, can, will be <laughs> Never portals with blocks on the edges of them can, be, can spawn in lava. So watch out when you jump in. But if you remove these blocks, there will be no lava spawnage, hopefully. Fingers crossed here. Oh, pray to the Lord. Well, the end does not exist. Well, we spawned next to it. I reckon we would have spawned there if whatever happened. Dragon gives you exactly 75 experience points in use. There we go, Johnny. Oops, still Tyler and Angus coming. I think that's all our kids, said the redneck. When you stand still, about this far away from skeletons, 90% of the time they miss. I think I got unlucky. You may think villages are easier to find on super flat maps, but they are actually not. It's just that you can see them more, much easier. And there are actually 500 on each world in proper Minecraft, 500 in super flats. But the super flat world is smaller. <laughs> Jumping on carrots makes them drop. Huh. Yep. Along with potatoes. And wheat. Wheat is the easiest to break of them all. But only when they're fully grown. Zombies are attracted to villagers and will try to eat them. Your zombies come in here. I think we just killed him. Zombies also have a one in 100 chance of dropping a carrot. No need for villagers now, huh? Some zombies uh, zombies come in different types. Some will have 
big heads. Some will carry shovels. I know there was one around here before that will they carry the shovels. So they carry the shovel. Some wear armor. Most likely to be gold or chainmail. Never seen a zombie wear iron. They can't put it on. And they can put only put diamond armor on if you give it to them in a cave of two blocks between them and the diamond armor. And even baby zombies can ride on chickens, like spider jockeys, a spider and a skeleton. A spider and a skeleton. Yes, I said that right. So, thanks for watching my facts you probably didn't know about Minecraft. I'm sorry some of the cuts in this video were pretty bad. Try to make it as quick as possible. Forgot to cut at a couple of moments. But let's eat some carrots. Dang, I'm creative. And that's right. That leaves me one more ender pearl. You can't throw ender pearls in creative. But if I were to do this... I can now. They also hurt you a lot. 